I did a few educationals and I did a few speeches to show them what it looks like. And then I just sat back and watched them perform. It was just wonderful. Now they're ready to go to a different district and start a club in Napa because management thinks this club has gone so well and they are getting now three years, four years worth of development out of their employees and they're raving about their Toastmasters club and for a minimal cost, what benefit it is bringing the corporation. So the next thing you do after you've done your homework is to schedule a demonstration meeting. Our demonstration meeting at Gallo was in their main conference room at their huge facility. We had 108 people at the kickoff meeting at a meeting that they didn't think 20 people would be interested in attending. <laughs> there was standing room only. They left the doors wide open because it was against the fire code to have that many people in the conference room. They started moving the tables out so that people would just have chairs to sit in. Our 10 people that were there to perform the demonstration meeting were standing along the wall because there was no place to sit down. This was our demonstration meeting. And we had, we had department heads that were saying, if 10 of you will join from my department, I'll pay your fees. It, it was just a no-brainer. It did take us three months longer to seal the deal. That's another Toastmasters Club, actually, in, in Modesto. But <laughs> it, took us, it took us three months because corporations don't move as fast. We, and they wanted to manage, just the things that you've heard before this morning, they wanted to manage the paperwork. What I did was I spent $35 of my own money and took the human resources director out to lunch. And I said, if we don't get this done today, we're going to have next week a new director in my place. Mm -hmm. And I won't be able to finish this and I won't get credit for all the work that we've done together. And so she agreed with me, she met me. It was the best $35 I've ever spent. I took her to her favorite restaurant and we filled out the paperwork right there, which she already had. And I agreed to send it in because I'm a CPA. I've already taken the ethics exam. She trusted me, which is true, I have as part of my license. I, I was able to take the money I'm bonded so she let me take the money and the corporate credit card number and I made a spreadsheet for her of all the costs and it equaled what was deducted from her credit card. She was completely happy and four years later we have this booming club and this year we have our first area director out of that because I knew that was a leadership pool for us. To target a corporate club. Take your A game. Know what you're doing and dress professionally. What you have in your hand needs to look as professional as you do. Speak to them in their language. You can do that by doing a little research about them. So everybody in this room has the capacity to charter a corporate club. And I look forward to seeing what you can do with this information. Are there any questions? Yes, Linda. Yes, actually, I have one. When I was when when Kathy Choate was district governor, I heard about a club that does online meetings with the same company that people work somewhere else within the same company, and they have online meetings where people from another the same company for, at another building can give a speech and then someone at the original Toastmaster meeting would evaluate them and they exchange that that way. How do you go, and I tried to get that started with Madeira last year with someone and um, it didn't work out. How do you train people to do that, that online 
uh, meeting that way. I think Video that, conferencing, that's I, what it's called. I think that, is it Julie that has one of those clubs in Division E? And that was very strong, and that's why I'm like, that is a great idea. It's yeah, not it's not online. online. I'm sorry. It's video conferencing. Yeah. Katie's right. Do you want to speak to her? Katie's Which, right. I'd be happy to talk with you afterwards because I do know about that. Thank you. Okay. Do we have five more minutes? Yes, JR. Um, I've got two questions. I'll just ask them both. Uh, you only first, get one. <laughs> 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 first of all, when you're dealing with perversions, who do you try to contact first? Do you find the key person in human resources? Do you find it in the executive suite, the CEO, the president? Uh, do you find it in the marketing department uh, where they might look for people with better things? Where do you go to look for the right person? My second question is how do you deal with the work that is uh, hierarchy of the environment of people who say, well, that's a funny idea, but the, 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 the vice president of marketing doesn't want to. And we addressed that in, in Gallo, actually. I hate to keep bringing just to that example, but we addressed that there. The first thing was, I had a connection. I had someone who knew someone in the corporation, so I got my foot in the door. So that's where I say, if you have someone who works there in your area that can get you an appointment, you have to do the work and you have to present yourself, but perhaps someone can give you an introduction. That's a good way to get into a corporation. Otherwise, you need to know who is the mover and the shaker. I can tell you, I can look at each one of you in each of your divisions, and I can tell you there's a white horse. And if I want something done in that division, if I contact the white horse, it's as good as done. There's someone like that in a corporation. It might even be the secretary. The guy just signs everything. She does all the work. So you really need to know that about do in your research enough background check to know that. You can get a wealth of knowledge from their website. They love to talk about themselves. And you can find contact us. You can, if you Google Grimmelby Coleman CPA firm today, you'll find a page on our website that talks about all of the Nonprofit organizations we support. And you can find Toastmasters logo there on our website. You can find stories about each and every one of us that are CPAs there at the firm. You can, you can Google me on that website and find out a huge amount of information about me personally. You could then call me and be able to have a conversation with me because you've stalked me online. <laughs> so you may need to get your first interview. You have to have your elevator speech ready because they might hang up on you. But you, if you do it correctly, use your communication skills, you can get your foot in the door. The corporate hierarchy is a monster in itself and moves slow. And at times, impatiently. So what we did with Gallo was the corporation said, we do not want to run this club. We don't want to make sure it's successful. We don't want to be involved. This is for our employees' development. And okay, we had managers and we had people that weren't involved. And what the managers were learning was, oh my gosh, I could give an evaluation and still motivate that person so much better. I wish I would have known Toastmasters existed. 
if you give it a try and don't capitalize on their negative things and get them to try it, which is what I did with Gallo, I just kept presenting the positive. The positive. Is it better to pitch it as a middle bit or more No. You need the mover and the shaker to sign the dotted line. Get, get him to sign the Tell him that this will help your lower person. Get your foot in the door. And then find out. Yes. Two quick comments. One, I think one of the road runs reduction to use LinkedIn. Because you may know somebody who knows somebody at that company. So using LinkedIn as a resource to connect you would be really great. The second one, even as an MGM, go to your comments are about being um, you know, not wanting to evaluate your director or vice versa. What we do is join other clubs to do their personal story that they don't want everybody else to know about, but people put things on Facebook that are unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> so LinkedIn, in case some of you don't know this, LinkedIn is the Facebook for professionals. Mm -hmm. So it's the corporate language where you would meet corporate people doing something similar to what you are looking for. Yes, one more. One of the things that I've noticed is in working with Fortune 500 companies as a vendor is that white floors may change. Just like the Toastmasters, we have a new year of term, we get new officers. Companies have rewards. They have the key person that was your main champion may no longer be at the company or concise and urgency in chartering so that doesn't happen. We, I'm out of time. <coughs> okay, I would like to um, <laughs> thank you. And next of all, we have our website manager that would like to come and talk to you. He did a presentation last night. Did anybody go to that? Okay. Good. So we want Tim Mullins to come and talk to you about your websites and please give him your attention. Tim. Okay, I'm not really, oh.